Do you guys have meats? Everyone fucking have meats, right? We shouldn't pretend that we can fucking ethic fucking superhero around the world. Here we are at the University of New South Wales. We have a sign here, saving koalas while eating meat makes you a hypocrite. Let's see if anyone wants to have a debate on the topic because here in Australia, there was a lot of outcry for the animals who were tragically killed in the bushfires, which I, uh, it was a tragedy for me as well. But on their plate is the body parts of an animal who was also killed or sometimes killed in a gas chamber, burned alive as well. So we'll see if anyone can see that contradiction or if anyone wants to discuss the topic. What I am saying is I like meat, other people like meat, but not everyone knows that there could be, they could eat meat without harming animals. That's what I am saying to you. Okay. But what, what? Not everyone is educated, not so everyone. Why would they choose plant-based meat if I don't tell them about the abuse? That's what I want to know. How do I, how do I motivate them to choose plant-based meat that's if I don't okay. talk about the cruelty? Yeah, good question. No, I understand what you are saying. But that's what I am saying you, that even the meat lovers, even if I like the animal, it's not like I like to harm the animal. It's like I like meat. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I so agree. there is a solution that at the same time so you I've... you can like the meat, you can eat the meat, but you are not harming any yeah. animal. That's okay. the solution. We're on the same side here. Yeah. We got a bit confused. No, no, you but, but I no, have to explain to people. Us. Yeah. They but need to know. I think the better way to explain to the people is I am saying you because I eat meat there. So if you get what I'm talking about so it's better so you can go to every other person who eats meat so they'll understand it better yeah I used to eat meat myself you know that right mm -hmm. and what what helped me was realizing I was an animal abusing hypocrite and I stopped okay now until yeah, I knew that I wouldn't stop some people who are who no, can be I still this, I <laughs> stop. I, I, I've seen bro it, there's it's nothing just, in it it's horrible yeah, but people what? don't see this that's why they eat meat if I show them this they're definitely gonna eat this the plant-based meat but what do you have to say about this, like, I eat meat, but I don't hate, uh, like, uh, want the animals to be abused or to be slaughtered? Yeah, I have to show you this and say, well, you are, you're abusing and killing them. I have to show you this. If you don't see this, you don't see the truth. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, that if there is any other substitute available, so... Yeah, yeah. but people ain't going to eat this if they don't see this. Trust me, they're just going to keep eating their chicken. They don't want to know. If I show them this, they're going to be disgusted and they're going to move over to this. I'll give them the choice. All right, that's your way. <laughs> what other way is going to work? People aren't just going to eat vegan food without the motivation. I'll say it's either this or this. I'm pointing at a pamphlet here, by the way. <laughs> it's got vegan food on there. He. Oh, taking this... it to the extreme. It, well, it's not an extreme. What's, what happens to animals is extreme. What I'm doing is trying to stop it. It's not extreme. It's peaceful. Okay, that's your point. You might need this. All right, sure. No All right, brother. Have a good day. Take care. Agree. That's fair. You agree? That's fair. I can't argue with that. Uh, cool. <laughs> There's a perfect point. Like, that man over there said, I agree with you. Thank you. Like, can't argue with that. He appreciates the honesty of the sign. You know what I mean? He didn't start yelling at me, going, This is too aggressive or whatever. Like, you know what I mean? It just depends on the person, doesn't it? Yeah, so do you, do you just agree or agree with the sign? Uh, what does it say? I didn't have. Oh, if you have a quick look, it says, uh, "Saving koalas while eating meat makes you a hypocrite." So it's like, uh, you think eating meat is not a good thing for koalas? No, I'm saying that when when you uh, say don't want koalas to be harmed, like what happened in the bushfires, everyone's seen the koalas. The tragedy, what happened yeah. to these koalas and native wildlife. But then when they look at their plate and there's a piece of a pig or a piece of a cow or a piece of a bird all suffered and died in a slaughterhouse here in Australia. I think that that makes someone a hypocrite. Do you, uh, not, do, no, no, not really. No. Yeah. Why not? Well, talking about koalas and other animals, I'm a, I'm a volunteer actually. We went out and put out a bushfires. Yeah. And I'm also working for a maritime school as a chief instructor, instructor trainer. Thank you. And uh, we hold on a naked dive activities. We take all the gears and shirts and yeah. even on yourself just to raise money for fun for our, uh, river uh, fire services. And, uh, so you're a volunteer in the fires? That's right. And that's did you right. save any animals in those fires? Not, re not really. Just to help yeah. people move their house and yeah, yeah, put out the grass fires out. along the highway. And uh, we also uh, raise money, raise fund for ISL yeah, yeah. and my own business. So. Well, thank you for, for your work in the fires. But 
you disagree that caring for one species of an animal while killing others and putting them on your plate makes you a his hypocrite. I want to know why you disagree with that. I didn't quite understand okay. that the relationship between, well, we should protect koalas because that, that's one of the national protected animal. But, um, well, what about the others? We have ducks and chickens and those things are served on dinner tables yeah. all the time for hundreds and even thousands of years. Yeah. And while well, some animals, well, people got to, well, intake some sort of protein to be able to live in a healthy lifestyle. Yeah, yeah. So I don't think I should be a vegetarian or something. Yeah. No. You think you need to, we need to kill these other animals to survive or we, we won't be healthy? Is that what you're, what you're saying? Well, those, some of the animals, they live in, in the world and they should be protected. If, well, the national law says so, actually. Yeah. And uh, some of the animals they, they consider as a livestock and they've been kept in a farm. I get it. Yeah, and we spend money to, well, you know, bring them up and uh, uh, feed them and yeah. whatever, and we want to serve them on the dinner table. So, yeah, 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 yeah. So what is the difference in value to that cow who wants to live and that koala who also wants to live? A human beings been eating meat for thousands of years. Yeah. Should I eat a koala? Uh, not really. It's, pro it's prohibited by the law. No, but um, we're talking about morals and ethics not the law because the the law used to sanction human slavery the law isn't always correct when it yeah. comes to morals so i'm talking from a moral perspective ah uh, from moral pers oh look i can't separate from well you know moral perspective from law so you should i can't actually but they're not separated they, 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 they're bonded with each other actually not, not always no the, the, what's legal and what's moral hasn't always been consistent. Like I'm talking, use human slavery as in content. That used to be fully lawful to own a slave. Well, well that's that's absolutely right. Okay, but yeah. if my family is suffering and they're starving and they can't even stay alive, I wouldn't give a shit about it if I want to kill an animal or something to keep oh, them alive. Okay. So that's a different yeah. scenario. That's not the scenario you're in right now. You know, well, I consider them the same. The meats and all chickens and ducks, they've been serving on the table for many years as a food. Yeah. And uh, koalas, the, uh, mate, I don't know what's going on, but people never eat them. Or well, maybe yeah. real people eat them. Well, not many people eat them. So that was just, a symbol yeah. for the country and it's protect, protected by the law. Yeah. I'm saying that just because we've done something for thousands and thousands of years, we've done a lot of evil things for thousands of years, just because something is traditional well, doesn't, make it, doesn't make it moral or ethical. Yeah, well, that's right. I, I'm, I'm trying my best to help all mates and uh, people around me. But, uh, yeah, there's something that, uh, you know, it's just common, it's just too common around the world that yeah. I don't want to change. Yeah. The, yeah. Oh, I like heavy meats. I enjoy that. I like the flavour. Yeah, you like the flavour, but animals are being tortured and killed for that meat. They're being abused in slaughterhouses. They're being raised in factory farms. Well, They're having their head cut off. That's something they shouldn't do. But they have to. It's a requirement for them to do that to animals to feed you. As the scientific improve, people might have a much better way to actually slaughter the animals and serve them into the market. Yeah. Yeah. What's a humane way of slaughtering an animal? Well, look, less pain they feel, the better. Okay. Wouldn't it, wouldn't it be more humane to leave them be and eat plants? Well, the people dying around the world every day and we can't save them all. No, but does that people mean... People got ripped and uh, yeah. people got bullied around, well, even the campus. I don't know, mate, around the world. Yeah. And it's, it's horrible. You don't, part you don't do those things, though. No, never. Yeah. Never. I'm a volunteer. I never do those. Yeah. I, I disagree, but... When you, when you eat an animal, you, you're actually doing something horrific to that animal. Because no, I'm not doing that. I purchased that from the market. Exactly. Yeah. This is where we're at. Supply and demand. You don't understand economics? Um, mate, I'm not... I'm not Jesus, I'm a human being. Human being living a selfish life. Yeah. Uh, we, I'm working hard and making money to live in a better life. And yeah. that's why when you see, well, you driving a Mercedes and the other guy driving a second hand, some sort of a, you know, shit a little car and, and you want to drive the better car. Well, yeah. people always want to improve their life. When you pay, do you disagree that when you pay for someone for animal products, you're, you're paying someone to kill an animal on your behalf? Do you disagree with that? Well, well, if there's no purchase, uh, I believe people, well, back to then, when there's no business at all, people still take guns and go into the forest and go hunting and shoot them. Yeah, well, no I disagree with that as well. With that. I disagree with that as well. 
Okay, good. I, well, I think we should eat plant foods and leave the animals alone. All animals, not just koalas, but all animals feel the same. They suffer the same. Well, look, well, I don't think they're suffering anything. Well, they, they, they that's are. how they are. Animals are animals. They are suffering. Well, look, there's a lot of things that I can't care about in my life. My, my family, well, and everything, we might still want to live in a better life. Do you yeah, think I can't that? I care about that much. I can't do it. Do you think that, you know, it's uh, okay to kill others so that you have a better life, or do you think we should not live? Human? Well, not humans. But animals is fine. Not. But talking about the terrorist, yeah. look at them. What are they doing to the whole world? Yeah, that's horrible. Yeah. I'm against that as well. Yeah, right. They should be fucking slaughtered. Yeah. Yeah. You do put you think bullets into their head yeah. instead of, you know? Keeping them alive around yeah. the world. I, they're worse than animals. I, I, I agree, but we put bullets in cow's head and they didn't do nothing wrong to us. They're not terrorists. We put bullet in cow's head to put on our plate. They're not terrorists. They didn't do nothing no, wrong to you. We've got to eat them. We've got to eat them to stay alive. I haven't eaten animals well, for a long about, time. What about grass? If you walk on grass, you don't think they feel any pain? Of course they don't. That's ridiculous. Of course grass doesn't feel pain. That's, yeah, well, that's, well, that's... What do you think? Did you go to university here? Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah. Did you? Well, that's just what scientists think. Right? So that's, that's, that's what the scientists think. Sci no scientist believes plants feel pain and suffer. That's. Well, that's what they. Well, that's what they think, and I think they feel pain. Do you think but a blade I've of? Eat animals to stay alive. Look, guys. Do you guys have meat? Everyone fucking have meat, right? We shouldn't pretend that we can fucking ethnic fucking superhero around the world. We do what we can to live in a better life and protect our family. That's why we study hard and work in hard. All right? Good on you. End of conversation. Gotta move me car, otherwise I gotta take it. That guy would be a good vegan activist because it's very confident just to stand up and start shouting at everyone. Not even I, I feel nervous doing that.